and welcome back to my channel. Wow, that is bright AF. Let me stand back here. <laughs> Today, I just thought I would pick up my vlogging camera and film like a little day in my life. If you don't know, if you're in Australia or if you're in a different state than me, I'm in Melbourne, Victoria, which means that we are in lockdown stage four, which is, I think it's the furthest we ever got even since March because our cases have been so high. So basically, um, stage four means that we can't really leave our house. We're only allowed to go for an hour walk a day and we're allowed to do the grocery shopping by ourselves. Um, I think that has an hour limit as well, maybe. So <laughs> this vlog is going to be literally just in my house today. I'm not going to be up to do it. I'm not going to be doing much. I am going to go do some groceries in one second. So I'll show you guys the things I pick up. But other than that, I did have a chiropractic appointment this morning to fix my back. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know, but I injured my back like a month ago. So I've been going to the chiro twice a week to heal that. That is literally my little like social outing for the morning, but she's so lovely. So it's good that I actually have someone to talk to in person because otherwise I think I'd go crazy. Um, so I did that. Then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm probably going to do some baking today and I'll show you guys a little workout. But yeah, if you do have any video suggestions, please let me know below and I will try and get to that. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I just got back from the grocery store. Obviously, wasn't going to vlog. I was annoying Andy. Obviously, wasn't going to vlog in the grocery store because that seems a little bit disrespectful. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what I picked up. This is just for like, I'd say half a week. I just picked up stuff that I need and then Andy will probably go by himself on the weekend to pick up what he needs. But yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned that at the start, but you're only allowed to go grocery shopping by yourself. You can't go um, in a pair anymore. So, this is just a few things that I wanted to have over the weekend. So, I got some sandwich thins. I'm either going to make like toasted sandwiches or, um, or maybe like homemade pizzas on them. So I also picked up some ham and some chicken to go on that, like whether it's a sandwich or whether it's homemade pizzas. Not really the best, like I was going to get proper, like a roast truck or something, but there wasn't any there because you guys know, isolation and grocery shopping, everything is gone. <laughs> um, so then I just got tomato paste for potential pizzas. We've got some capsicums. I'm going to make a fried rice for lunch today, so I'll show you guys how I do that, but I'm going to add the capsicum and also some carrot into that. I got some pineapple for the pizzas. I don't really like pineapple, to be honest. I just like the juice. So, fun fact, when I make homemade pizzas, I don't actually put the pineapple chunks on it, but I drizzle the juice over it. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone in that. I probably am. But please tell me I'm not alone. I just, I like the taste of pineapple, but I don't like the texture. Like, why would you want warm fruit on your pizza? Like, it just seems odd to me. Anyway, and then I also picked up some apples. I'm going to make a healthy apple and cinnamon muffin in this video as well. I've never actually made them before, but I'm going to make my own homemade apple like stew, I guess you could say. So I bought five apples for that. Two of them are actually props for the photo. But anyway, just Instagram things. And then the other two things I got were ginger beer. So I've got ginger beer and I also bought a bottle of vodka because we will probably make some cocktails on the weekend. Obviously, like what else is there to do in isolation? We're probably just going to make Moscow meals and like play board games all weekend because that is just what's up <laughs> so yeah that is what i got i am going to probably start making lunch now yeah it's nearly 12 o'clock so i'll show you guys what i use for that let me just put these away first So after I just put half that stuff away, I realized I needed it. <laughs> wow, my brain is not functioning today. Anyway, I'm going to make the fried rice now. So I will show you guys what I put in it. You're just going to need some eggs. 
uh, carrot, as I said, probably just one will do. I'm just making enough for two days because it's Thursday today. So I'm just going to make enough for today and tomorrow. So one carrot, one egg. Let's do some spinach. I've got the capsicum out on the bench. I'm probably going to add some of this chicken into it just for some extra protein, but that's obviously optional. Um, you could also add like bacon if you wanted. Oh, I forgot to get spring onion. Spring onion makes fried rice. Oh well, it'll be right. And then some salt reduced soy sauce. I've just got this packet brown rice because like honestly, who has 50 minutes to wait for brown rice to cook? Not me. And then, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just gonna fry off the egg, add all the vegetables, add the rice, and it's literally that easy. Watch this take under 15 minutes. <laughs> finished with my fried rice it probably took about 20 minutes by the time I cut everything up but honestly you could just like get frozen vegetables and chuck it all in you don't have to like do the capsicum and carrot from scratch but yeah I just felt like doing that so I've got my big old bowl of fried rice and I've also got my laptop here um, because I'm not allowed to do face-to-face -face clients a lot of the stuff I'm doing at the moment is online so I'll use an app called Trainerize and that's how I write out my programs for online clients or I'll do like Zoom calls with them. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very fortunate. I can still work to some extent to keep myself busy and to also obviously bring in some form of income. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat my lunch, do some work for a few hours. We might go out for a walk as well on Andy's lunch break and then I will show you guys how I make apple and cinnamon muffins. afternoon I finished with some work for the day and now I'm gonna make the apple cinnamon muffins that I have been talking about this whole vlog so far <laughs> so I'm gonna grab three red apples you could do red or green by the way I have never made apple cinnamon muffins in my life so this is going to be a test I don't know what I'm doing but I've made a million other different types of muffins in my life. So I think I should be able to do it, but let's see. As for the actual muffins, I'm going to completely wing it. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of ingredients out of my pantry and I'll pop the recipe down below if they work, that is. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, to make the actual apple pie filling, you just have to chop up the apples. You could also buy applesauce already at the supermarket, but they're usually full of sugars and stuff. So I thought I'd give my go at trying to make it myself but fingers crossed this works <laughs>
Okay, they are finally done. They look so good. I feel like I was in the kitchen for a long time, but it actually wasn't that time consuming. You can literally make the apple pie like filling whilst you make the muffin mix, if that makes sense. So it really didn't take long at all. I'd say like 10 or 15 minutes um, from start to finish. And then obviously like 10 or 15 minutes cook time. I'm going to give you my honest review right now. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know if I've cooked them enough. They seem a little bit moist in the middle. Oh, that word. Wow. Okay. Oh my God, they're so good. Okay, I'm proud of myself. I will write the recipe below. And then the coconut sugar on top. Mm -hmm. Big fan over here. You guys have to make it, especially if you're in lockdown. You might as well. <laughs> and totally forgot to end out this video. I think I had a bit of a weird afternoon the other day when I was originally filming this vlog. I did my workout in the afternoon. Um, we went for a walk and then I just kind of felt a bit blah, so I didn't really want to end out the vlog. Sorry, my glasses are like distracting me. Um, so I just thought I'd come on here and end out the vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I feel like I did a lot of talking and it was literally just me in my home making food. So hopefully it wasn't too boring to watch, but honestly, that's kind of like what my life is like for the next six weeks. So I'm going to try and film more like day in the life kind of food videos and stuff because that's kind of all I have to film. But as I said at the start, if you do have any video requests, please leave them down below because... I really want to make content and it will give me something to do, but I'm just not really sure like what you guys would want to see. So please leave any suggestions down below. I hope you guys are safe and well wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.